So, uh, Seven Days to Die is a pretty great game, but uh, pretty heavily weighted in the early game in, far, in terms of difficulty. So once you get to a certain point, it becomes a lot less challenging. Um, so I'm kind of done with this game. This is my last Alpha 19 game. Um, and uh, around about day 70 or so, it got pretty easy. So I've been doing a couple other things, but uh, I figured I'd record a quick video of my Horde Knight base. Um, just to kind of show you what I did. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> so quick, over here, this is um, one of my boxy but good bases. A uh, little mini base that I had for early part of the game it was wood, then upgraded to cobble, and then cement. Um, but this is the Horde Knight base. Uh, this also started off uh, as wood. A little platform with a little runway and that was about it and has been upgraded over time so now it's completely steel and mostly electrical um, but as you can see it's a tower uh, it's got a ramp and because of the way that they pass the zombies always come up this ramp um, and they come up here and I'll show you the inside of the base in a minute but they come up here and I uh, have a series of electrical trip wires um, they're set at foot level, so they get everything, including dogs and, and spiders. Um, I usually have another uh, blade trap here, but it got destroyed in the last one, and I forgot to replace it. I'm not going to bother replacing it now. Um, as you can see, I've got five other ones anyways. Uh, but the zombies path up here, and then they get electrocuted and frozen, and I shoot them from my little window over there. Um, also, the electrical traps will behead most of them. I put these upside down at the second level so that destroyers, when they come up, don't get set off by these traps. Um, but they come up and they either get shot by me or the blade traps take them down. Um, over the night, they'll usually uh, wear these electrical wires out and make it a little more of an advance. Um, but like I said, not really much of a challenge. If I uh, was going to do this base over again, I'm not sure I'll do it, and the next time I'd make this one extra wide so that I could move these uh, this little row blade traps in one, two. Uh, as it stands, basically, because the zombies have to destroy them to get through, these don't last long if they get this far, because they just kind of beat them down. Um, but they don't usually get this far, so it's not that big a deal. So crawlers and dogs and wolves will get this far, though, because they'll kind of race right through all those electrical traps. So I've got a series of uh, tr triggers here and some dart traps um, that will shoot anything that comes across. This is set at foot level again, so it doesn't set up destroyers if they get this far. Um, and so that uh, uh, it'll kill the dogs and spiders that make it around here. Um, I did have one horde night. I don't remember exactly when it was, but... Uh, they destroyed my electrical relay, which cut off all of my electrical traps. And so I had to shoot my way out of that one. And uh, um, these were a lot more important because uh, these are on a different circuit, so they were still active. Um, so here's one more trigger plate hooked to a trap that shoots directly down um, if they actually make it this far. And then this is my catch-all, um, this hammer turret will knock any zombies off that make it this this far and shoots them all the way back down there and they got to start all over again. Again, it's on a half plate so that it's at the foot level, so if a destroyer gets around here and they get knocked off, um, they wouldn't be triggered by it. Uh, so inside, where I sit, it's uh, primarily a metal cage, it's a pretty standard design um, all the way around. And uh, my entrance, my typical entrance here is just a ladder. I put it up two blocks and I put this plate here so that I can jump up and catch it. Zombies will ignore this uh, because it's up two blocks so they don't actually see it. Uh, inside down here is just hollow. Um, I put a torch down there. If they ever broke through, I could shoot down, but they don't. Um, on the top level, I had a torch for seeing. This grate uh, early on was for me to shoot through to kill vultures um, before I had this uh, SMG turret up here. 
but now with this SMG turret, it pretty much takes care of any vultures that come in um, and kills them. So that's a nice addition. Uh, I did have to box these, uh, like I mentioned, um, in one horde night. Uh, some zombies made it through because they took out one of these relays that go to the electrical traps and they uh, shut off everything. So I boxed these in with steel boxes. Same thing with the relays over there. Um, that was a lesson learned for this design. By the way, this was not uh, originally my design. I uh, borrowed this from some uh, a post I saw on Reddit. And I've modified it extensively for myself, but um, the basic hook, fish hook design was uh, someone else's. Um, this is just so I can pick up and place the turret. I don't actually fight over here. Uh, here's for restocking the uh, dart traps. And uh, if I ever needed to, I could get in here to uh, repair the electrical lines. These are the ones that would need to be repaired. Um, that allows me to get in here while the Horde Knight's still going on and repair these if I ever need to. Uh, the roof access here is mostly for repairing. I don't actually go out here on Horde Knight, um, obviously, but uh, this is how I repair the uh, walkways and the uh, blade traps. I have another door over here. I can go down for repairing inside here. I hear a screamer. Um, wonder where she is. There she is. Alright. Oh, good. Alright. Gonna show the Horde Knight too, but no sense in dealing with that before we get there. But that's the basic design. So the zombies path up, they get killed by the electrical traps, or they go around, and then I shoot them. Um, I'm always forgetting to close this door, so I'm going to close it now. Uh, my place during Horde Night is always in here. I'll leave both these doors open. Um, close this one. And I basically sit here and shoot them in the back of the head. My uh, general strategy, and I mean, at this point, I'm, I've got all the best weapons, but I have this uh, second full loaded with standard rounds for killing most things. Um, then I have this second one, which I paint blue so I remember which is which. This one's armed with AP rounds, uh, and I use this specifically for demolishers. That's all I shoot with it. And, uh, don't carry as much ammo. Got the M60. Uh, this is for crowd control if they ever get out of hand. I very rarely use it, but if they get all bunched up and I need to get rid of a whole mob, I'll, I'll use this. Burns a lot of ammo, so I try not to. Um, and then my uh, Desert Vulture is uh, one of my normal weapons I carry not for Horde Knight, and I just have it as a backup. Um, I come armed for bear at this point in the game. I never run out of ammo, so I've got plenty of ammo. All my repair stuff. All my foods, I'll actually dump this off here um, just before Horde Night because I don't use these uh, here. Um, throw it up here with this other stuff. This is all, all my storage stuff for before. But I sit here all night and uh, consume stuff and shoot. Um, Lately, the last time I did a full Horde Knight, they made it around the corner to the edge there, and I didn't have to repair. I play with two-hour days, so it's 30-minute Horde Knights, so they're kind of an endurance thing. Um, I am, again, uh, pretty much done with this game, so I'm going to break my rules here, and I'm going to speed this up so that you don't have to watch 30 minutes of me shooting zombies. Um, but you can get kind of the sense of the base. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, I don't know if I exit out, I'm going to continue. Uh, been playing this in the warrior setting with 120 minutes. I'm going to drop this down to 30. Um, that way it'll give about a 7 minute word night. Um, gives a good sense of what the base does without uh, boring you with 30 minutes of bloodshed. Um, mostly leave everything else on standard. Um, I don't drop anything at death, but that's because I don't I don't quit 
I quit when I die, so um, I pretty much play one life. And uh, so I, I do this in case I don't. Um, I did bump it to 12 enemies on Horde Knight for extra difficulty, but if I go higher than this, my computer tends to lag out, so I don't. Um, I put cheat mode on because it's an alpha. Uh, I don't use it, but uh, I like to have it on in case something weird happens. Um, and I need to. Um, and then I always mark airdrops because they're really annoying otherwise, so that one I'll just cop to that I change. Uh, this is solar game, so I don't multiplayer. Um, but I'm gonna go back and start this back up here. And we'll see about letting it uh, go through kind of quick. is what I'm currently maxing if I was going to keep playing. Uh, strength, I got a cigar, and then I just put it to five for the uh, mining bonuses. I don't really use shotguns. Uh, four to three to seven for machine gunning and for all of the really cool perks. Uh, agility to seven because I use pistols a lot um, in regular use, not so much on Fortnite. And then intellect to nine plus one for the, the glasses. Um, so I can get cool stuff from the vendors, and uh, so I have advanced engineering, because that's really important. Um, at this point in this game, I have every perk book except for one. I never got this uh, Hunter's Journal 4. Um, kind of annoys me. Uh, but between buying from vendors and just finding in all the buildings I've raided, I'm down to just missing the one. Uh, all right. So, I'm going to actually exit again, come back in, switch this to 10 minutes, try and speed it up real quick. Um, if I figure out how to edit videos, I might cut this part out, but I'll probably just post it the way it is, because mostly this is for my friends to see, and I don't expect a, a lot of people I don't know to watch it. Um, I'm going to do this really quick. I'm going to get to 21 and then uh, jump back out and again save it to a to a 30 minute window so that uh, it's got about a 7 minute horde night. I never do this in the regular play. Like I said, I always let the nights go for a half hour, which leads to some pretty boring nights in the first part of the game. I can't craft very much. Um, and I don't have any electrical stuff or anything else to do. Um, but I try to try to not speed it up because I don't want to consider it cheating. I'm doing it this way for the demonstration. So in terms of how I approach Horde Knight, um, I usually try to save my Sham Chowder just because it gives me that uh, fortitude boost and uh, good health and stamina. I always take a vitamin or two to last the night so that I have it uh, coffee because I spend a lot of time scoping. Um, and like I said, mostly I just shoot. So turn this on. See the base, got a little lag there. Let's see what the base looks like from above when it's running. Like I said, I am missing that one extra um, blade trap that would normally be there. Uh, usually catches like the first wave before it gets destroyed. <sighs> and I left that door open. Do I got to get out there? Now close. 
always forgetting to shut this. Okay. Back just in time. Oh. Screamer, that's uh, convenient timing. Oh, this is pretty much how I do this. Um, usually I would have done this ahead of time. I'll let it build up a little bit. And, uh, I'm not gonna eat all the same thing. Um, Usually I try to avoid it. Uh, shooting in the back of the head can save a lot of ammo.
so I'm pretty careful with them. Design they pretty much just line up. Actually, kind of disappointed it's got door blocks. Um, but those are a mechanic and you'll be fairly looking to this group. Cool. That would be where zombie body can stack up and uh, build up over time. Did not want to die. So normally with a 30 minute night, this would just be littered with um, or uh, with drops, but uh, speed sped up the way it was. It's not. Um, normally also they would have taken out at least two or three of my blade traps, um, and I would have had some dogs get around here and get to the, to the darts, but that didn't happen either. So, but I think it's a pretty good sense of how the base works. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching.